starters, could you tell me a bit about All My Fate Lost? Okay, uh, yeah. Actually, we are playing for, uh, I guess, 20 years already. And uh, initially, I started um, with, a, with a friend, then uh, stay with us uh, for a couple of albums. And then we, we welcomed the viola in the band. And uh, after a couple of albums, we, we've been, me and Viola, my, which is now my, my wife, uh, for uh, the last uh, 20 years. And just in five years ago, seven years ago, more or less, uh, also the, <clears throat> the Viola's brother came in a band. And then we have a violinist who uh, plays in, in most of the albums. And when he can, also plays uh, live with us because he's very busy uh, with the, the, his other band. He plays in um, uh, with uh, Elven King. You know, I don't know if you if you know him, if you know them. And so he he's usually very busy. But when when he can, he is happy to play with us. Okay. Um, initially, we we released a couple of demos with a with a small Italian label. Uh, called Final Music, and then we had um, the pleasure to be welcomed uh, on the um, on, on Comet Industry, this, uh, the Swedish label uh, that released two of our uh, of our albums. Um, then, when uh, unfortunately Comet Industry stopped uh, his uh, the activities. Uh, we released a couple of uh, an album and an EP with the Project Records uh, in the US, and then we had uh, this um, sort of hiatus, which is not the right word to describe uh, this this last ten years. But uh, anyway, we 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 did uh, our uh, thing with the, uh, really slowly, okay, with our times, <laughs> and we didn't release new music in in ten years, okay, original music. Yeah, let's dwell on the past a bit still. Uh, as you said, you released the first demo in 2000. So uh, uh, what was the original idea behind the band when you were starting this band? Okay, um, let's say that when we started, uh, we our main uh, um, references as bands were um, Ataraxia, Italian band Ataraxia, and then uh, Love Spiral Downwards on Project Records. So we had the idea to, 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 to make this kind of music uh, more med medieval oriented, but uh, luckily then uh, we, we, found, we find our way, which uh, I guess is, is, it was better because uh, maybe uh, the medieval uh, style did not fit perfectly to, to us, I guess. And um, we also were very inspired by um, uh, Precos Novenie, the uh, French label. Uh, which was very um, into acoustic music uh, and also very fairy-like, uh, okay, music. And there were a lot of bands that uh, were inspired by fairy tales and um, stuff like that. So our first demo was um, uh, focused around uh, fairy tales, okay. And so we, we we composed these five tracks. I guess it was yes, five tracks. Uh, about fairy tales, and that was uh, our starting point. We we self produced it. I guess it, they were one hundred copies. I think uh, we made the packaging by hand, and it was very fun. Uh, the, the the only the only production we we produced ourselves was, was the demo. Then we had the, the luck to find a, a small label that released the the second demo. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, and uh, as you said, uh, you have been uh, on a pause, or you have been away for uh, 10, 11 years after the dec Decade EP. So why is that a long pause? And what happened between that time? Yeah, well, um, let me tell you, as, as I was saying before, um, we were not uh, on a hiatus. Uh, we, after the Decade EP, 
Uh, you can also call decade if you choose English. It's the same because decade is an Italian word. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. but it's the same uh, the same meaning in English uh, of decade. Um, and um, we released that uh, EP. Then a couple of years later, we released uh, uh, an EP with Project Records. Uh, and that EP was uh, um, um, a sort of, um, well, well, there were five covers of Black Tape for a Blue Girl. Uh, we were uh, we were asked by Sam Rosenthal at Project to to made uh, a couple of cover, covers uh, for a compilation, and we we asked to to maybe uh, produce five tracks and maybe, maybe release a, a mini a mini EP, a sort of EP. And um, then after that, uh, a lot of things happened. Okay, in in our lives, uh, we had a couple of movings. Uh, uh, me and Viola got married, uh, and then six years six years ago we had uh, our daughter Angelica. And when you have children, you know the free time magically shrinks, <laughs> and you can find uh, uh, time to to make your uh, your stuff, your passions, your music. So, and in the last year, last years. Uh, She's growing up, so we, we can uh, dedicate a little bit more time. We, we had uh, uh, time to, uh, to set up a, a small room to, to, to rehearse and to, to record our music. So now I hope uh, we will be a little bit more uh, focused on music and we can, let's say, release another album, not in 10 years, maybe in a couple, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you already touched on this a bit. Uh, there was a, such a long pause in the in the middle. So, uh, how did this new entitled album come to be? How was it worked on? Are the songs from a longer span of time, or are they all new songs? Yeah, uh, actually, you know, uh, releasing this album is uh, is also a sort of a relief because these songs are really really old. Uh, I mean, the the main parts, the the the, the starting points of these songs were, I guess, composed maybe some some also seven eight years ago. Okay, uh, we we started. Uh, th th that's why I say we are not we were not in, on a hiatus. We just didn't have the the time and the and the space to 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 work on the music. But, but the songs were already on the on, on the go. Okay, and um, we recorded uh, the album. I guess in in a span of. Uh, uh two or three years maybe maybe more i can remember i wrote it somewhere on the on the press uh, text oh yeah uh, between 2040 and 2000, 2019 so uh, such a long time you know and just uh, the 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 last part maybe a couple of uh, backing vocals uh, were made on in, in the last uh, in the 19, 19 no 2019 the rest was made before okay yeah i read that the inspiration for some songs at least were paintings actually so uh would you care to elaborate a bit uh how do these paintings uh become songs and and where else did the inspiration for these songs come from uh well actually all the songs uh, uh this is a concept uh, album about um, art mm, the surreal art uh, and the pop surrealism current uh, and in particular we we, we chose uh, one uh, picture of uh, our favorite uh, painters uh, also there, there is also a photographer and uh, we just um, uh, try to describe the painting uh, with music and lyrics, maybe more with uh, with the lyrics. So uh, we we just uh, look at uh, these pictures and we try to to um, to invent uh, a story about uh, what what we see in the picture or, or well the feelings maybe sometimes. Okay, and um, it was a very fun but also difficult. Uh, task because you know trying to translate uh, a picture in in music is, is not 
uh, always uh, easy as you can imagine. And yes, basically the inspiration from the album is uh, is art, and also the title uh, is uh, untitled because uh, it's a sort of reference to to New York. Sometimes you find some uh, paintings that uh, have no title, and they write untitled in a small tag uh, uh, behind the the, uh, the picture. That that was the inspiration for the for the title. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, and you said that it's kind of a relief to put this album out that and there probably won't be another decade pause in the recordings. So do you do you already have like ideas which direction uh, the band will take? Not an idea uh, but we already um, we are already working to some new songs. Uh, we have uh, some new stuff uh, on the works. Um, probably I am not sure about this, but we also rework in a couple of tracks uh, of the, this album just because uh, we noticed that we had a couple of uh, different versions that maybe are worth uh, releasing too. Uh, but I'm not sure about this. Uh, but yeah, of course, we are working on new music, and we 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 are starting to put uh, some little points, and we we'll see how it goes. Uh, we have no concept of the album uh, at the moment, but uh, we we'll try to 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 work a little bit faster than than we have done <laughs> before. <laughs> 